Hi, I'm Teniola Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV news update for July the 20th, 2020. Nigeria has recorded 556 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of infections in the country to 36,663. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, the new infections were recorded in 17 states and the federal capital territory, Abuja. A total of 15,105 people have, however, recovered from the virus, while 789 persons have unfortunately died. And in Kaduna State, at least 21 persons have been reported killed, with 28 others injured in an attack by gunmen in Kukumdaji village of Kaura local government area. The police is yet to confirm the incident, but the president of the community told Channel Television that the gunmen, suspected to be herdsmen, invaded the venue of a wedding party in the community at about 10 p.m. on Sunday night and opened fire on the people. In Lagos State, the State Police Command has arrested about 15 luxurious buses fully loaded with passengers for violating curfew order. The buses conveying over 150 outbound passengers were intercepted along the expressway in Alakwere area of the state during the curfew. On the international scene, the new coronavirus pandemic has claimed more than 600,000 lives worldwide, and that's according to an AFP tally released on Sunday. A total of 600,523 deaths were recorded globally out of more than 14 million cases, including 205,065 deaths in Europe, the worst affected continent. And in sports, manager Frank Lampard has saluted Chelsea's character and personality as they powered into the FA Cup final with a 3-1 win over Manchester United on Sunday. Lampard's side were gifted their goals by an error-strewn display from United goalkeeper, but Chelsea were deserved winners as they dominated the semi-final from start to finish. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Tenyola Shobowale. Thanks for watching.